Dear viewers, this is the final video in the series of functional safety in automotive ECU manufacturing. In this video, we will learn the functional safety aspects in each activity we learned in the previous series of videos. Let's begin. Before continuing to this video, we recommend you to watch our previous videos in this series to get overall idea of manufacturing and the activities if not watched already. Refer the YouTube link mentioned at the bottom of the slide. The first activity is manufacturing specification. This contains requirements to be followed during production including functional safety. We will take some examples which are related to functional safety that can be considered in the manufacturing specification. Enabling and monitoring of safety related functionality that are derived in TSR to be added into the manufacturing specification. For example, in ADAS, camera and radar calibration and feature specific calibrations like speed threshold will impact safety related functionality and performance. Manufacturing specification need to identify the method for calibration, measures to verify the correctness of the calibration data and mitigation action in case of failure detected in the calibration. Second example, in instrument cluster which has TFT related safety goals, then the brightness of the TFT too high or too low will impact the driver to understand the notification while driving. Manufacturing specification need to ensure the calibration of TFT brightness is correctly performed. Requirements for threshold values for operational voltage and temperature and steps to verify the same are added if these are safety relevant as per the concept. Requirements for diagnostic trouble codes, that is DTCs, which are used to record the safety related failures to be added. This will be used during field monitoring for the safety related functionality. Then variant coding for the safety related features. Next, requirements for software version checks to verify the correct software is flashed and the software compatibility checks. For example, if the system contains multiple subsystems with independent software and manufacturing, then software version compatibility between all the subsystems to be ensured. Safety related requirements in the manufacturing specification shall have a clear special characteristics notation for the manufacturing team to ensure the steps taken during manufacturing are sufficient for the verification of safety related functionality. Then, Requirements or steps for assembling, decommissioning and servicing of the product which are safety related to be added. For example, improper dismantling of airbag module might result in hazard. Finally, ensure the functional safety related items are flagged as safety related and traceable to the TSR. Flow of design FMEA to process FMEA for the safety related items. Consider instrument cluster as an example here. It has SLB safety goal for airbag malfunction indication and we'll see how the FME analysis at system level continue till process of FME to identify measures in the manufacturing. First example, in the systems DFME, the airbag indication as a function or requirement and take not working as a failure mode. Airbag not working can lead to safety goal violation for not indicating the airbag malfunction during vehicle operation. Then consider airbag hardware LED is not working as a failure cause which is related to electrical. In the electrical DFMEA, the airbag LED becomes function and not working due to open or short circuit can be a failure mode. Insufficient amount of solder paste applied on the terminals can be one of the failure cause at electrical DFMEA which is related to manufacturing. Process FMEA is performed, the insufficient amount of solder paste will be analyzed which resulted in airbag LED not working. Further in the PFMEA, when each manufacturing process step are analyzed, the above listed failure cause at electrical FMEA can be considered as a failure mode. The quantity of soldering paste too low or too high can lead to pin open circuit or short circuit. This can occur because of soldering tensile damaged or the stencil holes are oversized. If we put this in reverse, the stencil damage led to airbag LED open circuit and because of this the airbag LED is not working which resulted in safety goal violation. The functionality at system level impacted due to a failure in the manufacturing process steps analyzed. 
and the soldering paste inspection can be a detection measure to identify this failure and make corrective measure second example airbag led is on but the color is wrong this is also a wrong indication only wrong selection of component at the component placement stage in the manufacturing might result in airbag wrong indication not identifying the correct hardware component pins lead to wrong selection of component as a preventive measures adding a label for each pins and using a barcode scanner to select the correct bin can prevent the wrong selection of component the same way all the safety related functionalities at system level and at the electrical level are analyzed and the failure causes which are related to manufacturing are taken to pfmea for identifying prevention and detection measures to avoid failures in the manufacturing the same exercise as we did in previous slide for all the safety related functionalities and their failure causes which are related to manufacturing shall have prevention and or detection measures to avoid failures in the manufacturing then critical characteristics critical characteristics are used to give higher importance in the manufacturing mark higher critical characteristics for all the safety related functions or requirements in the systems dfmea this gives a special attention during manufacturing for the safety related items in electrical dfmea the safety related hardware which are related to the system level safety functions shall inherit the same critical characteristics similarly the same critical characteristics will apply at the pfmea level also the flow of critical characteristics is represented in the picture control plan for the safety related items in this the special characteristics identified in pfmea will be brainstormed with manufacturing team and based on the agreement the special characteristics which are having real impact in the manufacturing will be inherited to the control plan additionally the control plan shall ensure the control methods measures reaction plan for each safety related functions or process steps then which should also ensure the periodic golden sample checks are added next golden sample for safety related items the product might have several safety goal or safety functions golden sample should be created for each safety goal or safety function create golden sample for unique safety case because it is not possible to maintain large number of golden samples in the manufacturing some of the examples for the golden samples are sensor calibration for any adas ecu failures in the sensor calibration can impact adas functionality a golden sample with sensor calibration failure can be used to verify the evoil machines detect the sensor calibration failure and reject the part similarly instrument cluster with broken led and product with corrupted software version corrupted ee prom corrupted rom can be used once golden samples are identified ensure the proper labeling of each master samples for better traceability and create a dedicated inventory at the manufacturing facility for each faulty part then ensure periodic execution of golden sample checks for all the safety related functions during manufacturing and record the results end of line testing for safety related items ensure uil testing has minimum one test case for each safety related requirement in the manufacturing specification UIL testing must be executed for every part and test reports stored. If a failure is detected, then failure cause shall be identified and corrective measures must be taken. Traceability between manufacturing specification and UIL test case shall be maintained. Hardware test coverage for safety related items. As we saw in the previous videos, there are multiple test methods which are ICT in circuit testing, AOI automated optical inspection, AXI automated x-ray inspection and FCT functional testing are used at different stages in the manufacturing these verify the entire components populated during PCB assembly this includes safety related components also the hardware bomb shall classify the safety and non safety related components and used in the manufacturing hardware test coverage report additionally ensure that there are sufficient test point available in the hardware board to verify all the safety related hardware components in the manufacturing using ICT, EOI, AXI and FCT testing. Ensure 100% safety related components tested by one or more testing methods during manufacturing to confirm the component placement, soldering and functionality are correct. The other important point is maintaining the part numbers and ensuring version management for the software used in the UAL machines. 
the part number for each part or subpart in the manufacturing shall be clearly identified and that must be linked to the product part number so that it can be traced in case of failure reported in the field next management of software used in the uol machines the software flashed in the uol machines shall be baselined and kept under configuration management and instruction for software installation and maintenance shall be in place verification of machine functionality for every software upgrade shall be performed and recorded next field monitoring of the safety related items field monitoring is assume the product is launched and now available in the end user's hand the end user will raise any failure in the product to the dealers and dealers will raise it to the manufacturers as a warranty claim these failure consolidated as a field written reports out of these failures how many are safety related and what is the status of those failures to be ensured to do this field monitoring shall have a process in place to analyze and identify the safety relevance for example we will once again take instrument cluster and that has a three field returns first return is related to odometer second is related to buzzer that is airbag indication issue out of these three airbag is safety related feature and this shall be brought under fusa radar for analysis and corrective measures after reporting a detailed analysis of failure causes shall be performed and permanent corrective actions shall be taken for the product then analyze whether the same failure cause can be applicable to more than one product which is in the field or not for example in the airbag indication failure the led component is the cause for this failure and then how many clusters produced with the same led component bins to be identified and shall confirm whether the same failure is applicable to the product that are currently in the field then a mitigation plan shall be in place to correct the failed parts which are still in field which has the same issue the mitigation plan can be vehicle recall for physical replacement with corrected hardware led in some cases ota over the air based update for software related corrective measures also be one option for the corrective measures in the field finally there are some general things to be considered the functional safety responsible person need to ensure the safety related functions safety goals with hazards safety related measures added in the manufacturing and their intentions are clearly explained to the manufacturing team for the better understanding next ensure all the manufacturing related documents are kept under configuration management and ensure program details part numbers details about the authors reviewers and approvers version history and dates are captured in all the documents hope the series of functional safety in automotive ecu manufacturing videos provide information about manufacturing and functional safety related expectations stay tuned and contact us at autofunctionalsafety@gmail.com if you have any questions on this topic thank you for watching